aboard the most secret restaurant in New York City, Bohemian, where they specialize in a rare breed of beef, Washuka. Let's go check it out. A secret restaurant sounds esoteric, but it's actually the opposite of that. It's actually more welcoming. Some people find it really negative that you have to know someone when you come here. But it, for us, it's not a marketing ploy. It's more of we wanted to create a space where we can bring our friends and their friends bring their friends and so on and so forth. And it's a community that we just build. There's these two owners. One of them is the dreamer, and the other guy is the operations. They just get drunk together and come up with these crazy ideas. We use the word agito, which is a, mm -hmm. it's based in Russian, but it's literally a hideout. So having a secret base in all these different places around the world, they want to have at least one place on every continent. They are making a place on Isla. They want to find like the perfect hut to create the best environment to have scotch in. Ideally, we want to, two years from now, make a treehouse community somewhere along the Amazon in the jungle. And they have a guy who trained to be a camel caretaker and he can take you through the Sahara Desert. Do they need more friends? <laughs> yes. Everyone is a friend of the restaurant. We hear really, really amazing things about a specific breed that you guys work with called Washugu. It's a very specific brand. It's made in Oregon. You get the crossbreed of the Wagyu cow and domestic Black Angus. So Wagyu is Tajima uh, cattle. So you get the really nice marbleization, the sweet fat from it. And then you have the leanness and like the nice protein from the domestic Black Angus. So it's like the best of both worlds. This is the Washugu show rib, which is insane looking. We're using for the sashimi cut. First of all, I need to prepare a trim. You don't need to cook something that has that much fat sliced that thin and then cut against the grain like that. Pretty much all the tenderness you need is, is already there. So then, we gonna put a little bit of salt. Heat it a little bit. That makes the part comes up a little bit. We have daikon radish, chili on top, garlic cured with organic soy sauce, wasabi, makes nice and cooler with the ice. Because there's so much fat in this, and just the, the preciseness with, with the way you were slicing it against the grain, you can already tell it's just gonna melt in your mouth. So we're going to do the tartar? Yeah. Top brown. I feel like you normally don't see me quite that red unless you have like an older animal, which with the washugyu, you're letting those animals get about eight to 10 months older, which is what we do with American grass-fed beef as well, which helps you not only get more time to put fat onto the animal, but also helps those muscles like really, really develop and deepen in flavor. And when you get the more depth and flavor, you also can see it in the color in the steak. What's with the white bread? The cheese inside, we're using a mozzarella, parmesan reggiano, also Bardem blue cheese. So that's the a inside. grilled cheese? Yeah, that's grilled cheese, yeah. Grilled wholesome. Okay, we used to have a sandwich shop. Oh, really? A couple years ago. And I am furious at how good and like simple this sandwich is. We were like racking our brains trying to come up with great sandwiches. And yes. this is just... Okay, this is just simple sandwich. It's yeah. so <laughs> incredible looking. So just a couple capers and a no little bit of finishing yeah. salt. Salt and pepper, shallow, olive oil. Flat iron? Yeah, this yeah. is flat iron. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm gonna cut a little bit. This is a fine salt using a kosher salt. Double salt? Yeah, double salt. That makes much more crunchy. This okay. is a, make a taste of base taste. I would say normally you would go to an Outback Steakhouse and see a steak that big on the menu, but with the amount of fat that's in that steak, that's probably enough for three or four people almost in one steak. So I noticed you keep putting the steak back to the salamander, back to the salamander. What are you, how are you cooking it? Most steak have a crispy outside, medium rare part in the middle, in, inside with the layer. I want to all the way. All the way. That's gonna be more juicier. I've never seen this technique before. It's really interesting to see it's just cook it little by little, be patient, and you get a perfect medium rare all the way through. So you always finish with 
that little burnt that rosemary. rosemary. That makes more uh, flavorful and uh, eat customer hungry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just makes you make hungry, gets your stomach ready. Yeah. Okay. Pro tip: always do what the chef does. Holy hell. Come on! <laughs> wow. It tastes like a cooked steak, but doesn't have uh, any of the cooked elements of actually searing it on the outside. It just tastes like the perfectly cooked center, but it's raw. That fat is just unbelievable, too. It almost tastes like smoky or like, I don't know how to describe it. And the, that flame was not going to get any smoke on it. I just don't know how to describe this. I've never had a piece of meat that tastes like that. There's a lot of difference in diet. So with this, you're getting like the sweetness, you're getting this richness from the fat and grass-fed beef. You can actually like taste grass. It's really, really interesting. That was delicious. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for enjoying it. That is a really, really nice tartare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amazing texture on the tartare. It's hearty, yet super tender. A little blue cheese on the end. Yeah, I didn't taste the blue cheese at all until the very end. Beef that just melts apart, then bread, then gooey cheese, then more bread. That shallot just kicks it up. Wow. Wow, you can still see the fat just hanging out. Come on, Aki. Good lord. It's really fatty, but very clean. I think Wagyu fat is higher quality. It's not just regular fatty grain-fed Angus beef. So what's weird for me is that because it's seared on the outside and uh, eats like a regular steak, it's very familiar, but this is totally different than regular Wagyu. We think we know beef and we work with it every single day. And uh, this is so recognizable yet so completely different than everything else we, de we deal with. I just feel like I had my mind blown. After being in the meat business for like 14 years now, I'm watching you and I'm still learning new stuff. It's incredible yeah, to watch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for inviting us in to, yeah, to try these, like, these very special cuts. It's always nice to learn something new, especially from someone who's mastered it. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much. Thank you.